Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookum here. Today I'd like to address a question I've been asked several times and that is if testosterone boosters really work. The problem with addressing this question is that there is so many different products out there, herbal extracts, vitamins, etc. that um, are claimed to boost testosterone and it is obviously very difficult to address uh, this very big question in bodybuilding seeing that there are so many products. T today I'm actually going to focus on one particular agent and that is tribulus. Um, in doing so, firstly, I'm going to give you the diet that I've um, been following, the training program as well, and my basal testosterone levels, then actually introduce the product that I used, the research behind this product, as well as my final results after using the product. So let's get straight into it. Now, the diet that I used prior to my experiment is as follows. Uh, for breakfast, I have five raw eggs, uh, a tomato half an avocado and this morning shake that I usually make it's a high vitamin shake that I make myself it's just a bit of milk water chia seeds a, a tablespoon of cacao and maca um, a multivitamin uh, powder a minerals uh, complex powder and I scull this down with uh, 5,000 units of vitamin D3 my snack which is around 10 10 30 is just 200 mils egg whites um, of course, uh, fried, <laughs> uh, capsicum, a bunch of nuts, and a small piece of dark chocolate, usually 25 grams. Uh, for lunch, I'll have some kind of an animal protein, grains or starchy vegetable, and uh, veggies. So basically, whatever's, uh, whatever the wife cooked. Uh, for snack, uh, in, in the afternoon, I have usually a can of tuna and a salad of car uh, carrots and, and cucumbers. And finally, for dinner, same as lunch, whatever the wife cooked. Before bed, I usually have casein or cheese if I'm hungry uh, with a small bowl of berries and uh, I finish off with magnesium tablets, uh, 500 mg in total and a tablet of melatonin of 5 to 10 milligrams to help me sleep. All supplements um, are usually bought from bulkpowders.com or pipingrock.com. So my training program is listed here and I've actually covered both my diet and program as well as the supplementation and the reasons why I perform these in two separate videos that will be linked to this video. But just to quickly summarize, I train three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I alternate my workouts training my lower body and upper body in a split. Uh, mainly it's progressive resistance st uh, style of training where I always try and increase the reps and then increase the weight and I use mainly compound exercises. That is the focus of my training program. Now, before I started the testosterone booster, um, I actually had my testosterone levels checked at a lab. I know a lot of you are going to complain, oh, this is just total testosterone. Well, tough cookie, this lab doesn't actually test for free testosterone, so I'm sorry, okay? Um, I only got total testosterone checked as well as um, a whole bunch of other uh, things I was interested in. But there are the results as I started off with 22 and a half nanomoles of, of uh, total testosterone in my system. So my only recommendation to anyone trying to uh, boost their testosterone with these products is that you check your hormonal levels first. That's what I did. I mean, it's truly the only way to check if the product is actually working, right? Um, your range should be anywhere between 8 to 30 nanomolar or um, 270 to 1,100 nanograms per deciliter, depending on the way the lab measures it. Um, I always recommend taking just some basic uh, multivitamins and minerals and top this up with magnesium, calcium, and zinc, as well as vitamin D3. And for your training, you should always use compound movements. Progressive resistance is the key. Have plenty of sleep and a positive mindset. So having checked all these boxes myself, I decided to try a test booster. Now the reasoning in me wanting to increase my testosterone further was because I haven't actually reached the maximum threshold and um, who doesn't want to have higher testosterone? I'm pretty sure anybody does and if I can achieve it naturally using some herbs or whatever I'm gonna try it. And so the one that I chose was a complete tea booster from bulk powders. Bulk powders is a company that does not, they do not um, sponsor me, 
I just use their products because I find that they are cheap and they're pretty reliable. Anyway, the ingredients found in Complete Tea Booster are very simple. Deaspartic acid, protodiosin, and zinc. Now, having said these, I'm going to go through uh, mainly protodiosin and deaspartic acid and see what the research says about this. Zinc is known to, um, to help in your testosterone production, and so I'm not going to go through this uh, or any of the research at all on zinc. Now, protodiosin, which is found in the complete tea booster ingredients actually comes from tribulus terrestris which is what this whole video is about the problem with tribulus is that there's a lot of mixed research with some studies showing uh, yeah that it does increase testosterone and others saying that it doesn't and so there is a lot of confusion out there uh, on the research done on tribulus and the reason is that some products that are out there are not standardized that is they do not contain or, or actually give you any any uh, values for the active ingredient. How do you know if it contains protodiacin or any of these uh, uh, saponins that are supposed to be the active ingredients? Uh, and this is one of the things that I would say. Um, if you were going to try tribulus, make sure that it contains the active ingredient. Otherwise, you may be just ingesting an inferior product that you will have no results with. And I just want to go through the basic, uh, some, some, just a couple of studies to show what I mean by the confusing research that is out there on this particular type of ingredient, protodiacin or tribulus. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of conflicting research in the tribulus terrestris and whether it increases testosterone or not. There are some issues involved. For example, uh, tribulus terrestris extracts vary in quality and therefore in the amount of the active ingredient um, in the actual uh, product. And so, for example, in this study, um, it actually doesn't state how much of the active ingredient um, is actually in the product that they are using. Furthermore, um, different studies use different pools of men at different age groups. This one actually didn't show any uh, uh, testosterone increase in young men. And I mean, young men may not be the best uh, group to actually test in the first place because these guys already have usually a very high level of testosterone. Now in this particular study um, that is published on tribulusbiogenicstimulants.com, the actual company that sells Tribistan, um, the male participants actually showed an increase in testosterone. Uh, as you can see in the summary, these, these men took um, 250 milligrams of Tribistan three times a day for five days and showed an increase in testosterone. I'm not going to show you the table and all that. The point is that the product that was actually used contained a standardized level of proto of protodiacin. And so this is where my recommendation comes from. If you're going to have any kind of testosterone boosting product, make sure that the products that are listed actually have some research backing it. And two, that the products that are listed um, contain the, the active ingredient. You've got to make sure of it. If it just says plant extract of whatever, and you don't know how much of the active ingredient is, is in there, you might be actually ingesting an inferior product. Now, the other ingredient I wanted to discuss from Complete Tea Booster by Bulk Powders was deaspartic acid. And um, some studies have shown that in non-training individuals, um, yeah, deaspartic acid actually increases testosterone. So this is where all the hype comes for deaspartic acid. However, the literature again is confusing. Now this particular study performed on resistance trained men actually showed that the aspartic acid did not increase testosterone uh, levels at all. Um, I actually believe this study more than the previous one because it affects us trainees. So having said that, and again going through the list of ingredients in complete tea booster by bulk pipe powders, I wouldn't think that the aspartic acid found within the ingredients list would actually have any effect on me. Um, this is why the main focus of this video is actually on tribulus. Yes, it also contains zinc, but I was already taking zinc prior in my minerals complex. And so I don't think any additional zinc um, uh, from, from this uh, complete tube tea booster would actually have any effect. And so this is why I think most of the effect that I actually saw in the complete tea booster came from tribulus. 
So now that I showed you the uh, research on both deaspartic acid and tribulus, I just wanted to remind you of my starting level of testosterone. It was at 22.5 nanomoles. Now shortly after starting the cycle of complete T booster, I um, went to the lab, I think it was um, two to three weeks in after I started, to get my blood test checked for total testosterone. I, again, I couldn't get free testosterone checked. I couldn't uh, get uh, total testosterone checked. And as you can see, it went up to 24 nanomolar. A 1.5 nanomolar increase. Did my testosterone go up? Yes. So at best, it did boost it a little bit. However, one could even argue that this is a fluctuation in my levels. So overall, what did complete T booster do for me? I only had a six to seven percent increase in my total testosterone. Does this affect my serum testosterone? My, my sorry, my free testosterone? I don't really think it would. Um, the 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 increase is so small. The chances are that I didn't really um, get much of a of an improvement. I have to be honest. Um, having said all that. I've only just tested this product. I've never tested any other products. So I wouldn't know whether other T boosters work. There are so many out there. My recommendation, again, is if you're going to invest your money in a T booster, make sure that your diet is in check. Make sure that your training is correct. Once you've got this, go to a doctor and invest the money there. Get a lab test and try and get your at least your total testosterone checked, if not also your free testosterone. That is the only way you're going to really know if a T-Booster works. I hear of so many guys trying one T-Booster after another and praying and hoping without really knowing, without having any concrete proof whether the T-Booster actually worked. So you were literally basically, you know, throwing your money away. That's my recommendation. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. And let me know your comments. Have you tried this bulk powders complete tea booster? And if so, did it do anything for you? Have you tested your levels? If not, have you actually uh, tried other tea boosters? And have, have you tested your levels um, using these other tea boosters? Let me know. Thanks for watching. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.